Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents. We're in episode 3 with Grover Games. Um, so in the meantime, during some downtime, I did some off-screen training just because I felt like the last few episodes against all the trainers, they were fairly decent level and I didn't know going ahead what to expect here. So we got everyone up to 11, a nice unround number. Unless you add them up all together, become the Palpatine's favorite number. But as you can see, we evolved our cat Helen into Butterfree, which I kind of thought was a thinking it was a decent idea at the time, just because I feel like when we get some status afflictions like sleep powder and such, it might be useful. And I haven't looked into the IV EV screen yet, but my theory is that. The right hand number is the IV number the Pokemon has. So like for example, Pikachu's got 31 IV in attack, special attack, and zero in attack, which is good because attack is its worst stat. And sorry, the the noise cutting out there caught me, caught me off guard. And then the other numbers are your effort value numbers. So like for example, we got eight in attack, one in health for on our on Killian or Bulbasaur and three in special attack, which she has 31 in speed, which is pretty good, but everything else on her kind of, is kind of junk. Like defense is really bad on her, which sucks. Which seems like that's a common theme for everyone. They don't really have any very, most of them don't have very good defense IVs, but we're gonna go on. We were told to report to the Town hall here to stop an assassination attempt. I don't know, remember which cults we're talking about it, but here we are. Oh, hello, I'm Jaren the Second Augur. Jaren, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's Jaren now. Who gives? That's that's the way it's going to be for now on. It's nice to meet you all. You have a very lovely town. Why might your night be a young one? My um, my name's Damien, and this is Gigi. We're big fans, sir. We're here to warn you that one of the guests here wants to kill you. Just, just take your time to process that. That's a very serious accusation, Damien. I'm so sorry about this, sir. Damien, what are you saying? You're embarrassing us. You'll be punished for this. That's 12 across the ass. Is he what I'm here and he's going to be getting it later. Actually, I wouldn't, wouldn't worry about it. He'll get enough punishment here as is. And who might you be? We're cultists. And we're here to kill you. What? What? Nope, you can't. In fact, you won't even get a chance to battle him. I'll stop you two right now. Uh, I got a double team with Damien against this. Uh... We've only come here to eliminate the auger. Step aside and we won't kill you too. No, I won't back down. This is my chance to prove myself. All right then, kid. Just don't say we didn't warn you. It looks like you're mine. Feel the wrath of the bis abyssal cult. Wait, are the cult a... They worship Kyogre? Is that what it means? Skrill. Well, it's a good thing we have Killian first, because am I right? Yep. Scrub is like poison water or poison dragon. Well, that was one easy. Yeah, it's probably a good thing I did a little off-screen training. This person's Pokemon are level 12. And 13 are... Jeez! And Killian is getting there. But handed to him, I should probably... Looking bad now, I probably should have grinded a little higher. Uh, we'll go into Buddy. Just because I think... Yeah, that's what I thought. She, I figured she'd be able to survive a water gun and... Outspeed Horsey. Gillian's level 12, that's neat. And Buddy gained some experience as well. Childish impotence, you are nothing. Ugh, no matter, I'll take you down with him. No, you won't. Trying to kill me is one thing, but threatening innocent children? That's one strike too many. I'm sending the two of you to Helio City for your trial. Although, after all that, I don't see a bright future for you. 
Wait, uh, what? English? Did you just kill him? Of course not, I just taken him to Helios City. Sorry for letting you two fight my battles, but I was curious to see how you would do. Don't worry, if you lost, I would have let, wouldn't have let you get hurt. I'm very impressed you two are talented and responsible. If you ever pass through Helios City, why not stop by? I'd love to see you two again. For now though, I should return. I have a trial to attend to. Thank you for hosting me. You have a very lovely town. Did the auger just give you a compliment? I think so. I think your foster mother is gonna to have trouble making you stay if that's the case. Damien, this is your chance to go on an adventure. You got the an invitation from the auger himself. Yeah, I guess you're right. In that case, I need to get soon, going as soon as possible. All my friends have already arrived at Minda Town and are training at the trainer school. Hey, GG, why don't we race there? Minda Town is just on the other side of that cave we went to earlier today. We can learn how to battle and everything there. See you then. Okay, so it looks like we're heading out to Minda Town. And I... I thought I did quite a bit off-screen training to get to level 11. I figured that would be too high, but seeing how those few people already had level 12 and 13 Pokemon, this might be a little bit of a challenge. Also, when I was grinding, I did some grinding in the cave, and I went, I went to over where they said the stone was going to be, and turned out it was called it was just a hell item called the hard stone. So, if you're I did that off screen and I didn't mean to. I was just kind of running around in there and figured there'd be nothing over there. I figured it was just a ploy. But yeah, so we protected the auger and I don't know if he's would have actually protected us or not, especially with all the gossip going around how not very many people are a fan of him. Let's see if we can get through this cave relatively unscathed. Now uh, we'll speed it up so we can get through here a little faster. I'm a... I'm glad we got Killian up another level. I'm also starting to think maybe I should have chose Char... Charmander even though that would have been like the really basic choice. Just because ha being a ghost type would have been super beneficial, especially against all these earlier fights, it felt like, because almost nothing could hit you, it felt, it felt like, like nothing had any super effective moves. Like, the only thing I'd think of while training was Ghastly, and Pikachu could be the only two that could really hit you, and Weedle, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping when we get Bulbasaur to evolve into an Ivysaur, Things will whoop, be a little bit better for us. And I'm hoping we can see some other sp species of Pokemon soon, like Delta species, because that's... Oh, let's slow it back down. Kind of curious. Okay, we'll fight you. And up to Minda Town, there's a school up there. You can learn how to become a trainer. I say, isn't just being a trainer just throwing Pokemons at each other? Oh, jeez. That hurt, but I didn't really have anything else I wanted to switch into. Also, I think I did break my one rule already where I was trying to avoid using items in battle, and it, it was one of those force the habits things, so you'll have to forgive me. This time. Uh, there's a lot of cool caves and places to explore in the Torrin region. I hope to see them all one day. Rune Maniac Mark. Machop. And Killian. Oh, this will be an easy one two for Killian. Ah, uh, Jigglypuff. Um, yeah, we'll keep Killian in for now. Yeah. And then I think... Leech Seed. Oh, that's actually really cool. Um, I think we're going to get rid of Tackle. Just because we already know Killian's 
And hypnosis? Mm, yeah, let's get rid of baby doll eyes too, why not? Hypnosis and Leech Seed. I feel like Killian's gonna become kind of a rock star. Hop it. So Meowth and Hop it in this grass so far. I'm not really liking those options. Um, if I have, I think in the end, looking at the stats, I think I was gonna stick with, even though Nido King is clearly better, I think I was gonna stick with Thea. Just cause she had, she has a little bit better nature, and I don't know how this game's going to play out yet. Like, how, how the difficulty curve is. Let's see. I think I'm lost. Will you bow to help me find... That's kind of an odd request. Execute. Uh, let's... If it's an uproar, would be a good time for Gordon to come in, actually. Because uproar can't hit him, can it? So what are the chances it's going to be locking the uproar still? Uh, none. That's kind of unfortunate. But does it have any... Oh, yep, Leech Seed. Um, let's go back and... Let's go into Oliver. Oh! They're making the plays here. Um, so let's switch into Buddy now. I wonder if they'll switch again. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, come on, Buddy. You can do this. Yes! I think smart play will be going to Gordon, because I don't think they can hit Gordon. There we go. There's some pro strategies right there, folks. I that that whole switching thing really caught me off guard. I did not think the trainers would be switching like that already. Um, actually, you know what, I want to take a second look at Thea and Oliver. Thea. Yeah, I still think I'm going to stick with Thea. What's in here? Dark cave. Okay. Uh, great ball. That's neat. Okay, so. Hmm. Say, young one, would you like to trade Pokemon? The one Pokemon I'm really looking for is Total Dot, but I can't find it anywhere. I'll trade you one of my rarest Pokemon for one. So can we find a Totodile around here? Because if we can, I, I, Totodile is one of my favorite Pokemon. Oh, uh, let's double kick. Uh, this Porygon is getting a little scary. Please don't. Okay, good. So that was real. That was painless for us, luckily. Weasel. What are the chances that Buddy will get in on Scave? Let's find out. It has Sonic Boom? And it's faster. Huh. That is actually a little bit upsetting. Why would a Weasel know Sonic Boom? Uh, no for as much Crap, and I say, like, having a Gordon would be... Eh, he's been... Just him being a ghost type has been really clutch this playthrough already. Ah. Uh, you know what? Um, let's get rid of Spite. Because I wonder... If I get in a situation where I could leech seed something... Really sucks we don't have Buddy anymore. I mean, no, everyone's good on health except Buddy, obviously. I've been training for days, you don't stand a chance against my Pokemon. Paris versus Sia. 
And that was a crit. That's kind of un okay. I'm kind of glad I'm not. Does it only have? I was gonna say it can't only have powder moves. And leech life. So one thing I noticed, and maybe it's just just how they set it up. That some of the AI is not the brightest in here. Poison Sting. I'd rather keep Tail Whip. But is it really worth? Uh, yeah, let's not learn it. I don't think it's going to be worth it in the long run. Okay. I couldn't remember if Constrict... We might just have to switch the uh, out here. Uh, we'll bring in Gordon. <laughs> I honestly feel like early game Charmander would be pretty broken here, at least the Delta version. Just having an early game ghost type right there. Made it to town already, thank lord. One thing, first thing I want to do, actually. Let's slow it down here for a second. Uh, I kind of want to go back to that route and explore a little bit. What do you have to say, me kid? There was a guy in Helio City that would let you create your own moves. When I went there, though, I couldn't find him anywhere. I guess it's just another urban legend. Okay. So, one thing I did find out, too, is that this is the move deleter and name raider here, so you don't have to... They're always in the... Looks like it's always... They're always going to be in the Pokemon Center, which is going to be nice. Do you know Electro is the third fastest non-mega non-legendary Pokemon? That's always surprised me. How quickly does it roll? <laughs> There's a lot of cool new Megalufins that have only been seen in the Tauren region. Typhlosion, Eevee, Marowak. Ah, I want to see them all. So Typhlosion's got one now? And Marowak? That's pretty cool. Incinerate the competition. I used to work at the first Augur's gym before he disappeared. A lot of people don't know that. He was a new gym leader, too. I mean, clearly I'm the first Augur, right? I've been prepared to take on the gems of Tornery. Be warned, they're very tough. Since they are not bound to a single type, it's hard to beat them up using one or two Pokemon. Okay, that's good to know that the gems are more than one type. Oh yeah, I already talked to you. I already talked to you, kid. I've been doing some research into Delta Pokemon. There are a very variety of Pokemon with different types of abilities, movesets than normal. They seem to appear in wild from time to time, but they're more often created by scientists. I wish I could see one for myself. A lot of entries in Pokédex seem like complete rubbish. No way my cargo's body temperature is hotter than the surface of the sun. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to deny that. Would you like to trade Pokémon? For any bug-type Pokémon. Let me get back to you. I do not want to train you, trade you my Butterfree. Because I feel like Elkit... Hey, an unknown. Whenever people see me, they expect me to be mean and ferocious, ferocious. But I'm a nice guy. You shouldn't judge someone by their looks. Honestly, unknown seems like a pretty useless Pokemon. It only gets one new move at stats aren't great either. Why do you have one, then? Wait, is that another unknown? Yep. One Psychic Gym. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hello, sweetie. Do you want a gift? I have a couple nice stones. Oh! Ah, oh, this is tough. I don't feel like fire... It's either fire, thunder, or water. Um, let's go with... Water or thunder? Water or thunder? Let's go with the water stone. It 
So I wonder if that's, with the Eevee, if that's just an early way for you to get rid of it. I heard Arun, the leader of Sun Touch Town, is city is such a real. He's talked to he talks to rocks and still has an imaginary friend. I'm supposed to find this girl named Nora for this tournament thing. Do you think you give me a hand? I have no clue where she is. Well, that's just a way to stop me from leaving town. I'm going to win the next trainer school tournament. I just know it. I've been practicing for so long. It's the school bell. Rigging it would probably lead to a horde of angry students up here. I mean... That sounds like a them problem. And there's a great ball back there. Can I get to it? Okay, I can. But one of the first few tasks is going to find a great ball. Not great ball. A bug type Pokemon. What the hell is... What's up? Call me the Pika Taxi guy. My taxis for the low cost of hundred dollars will get you wherever, wherever you need to go. As long as you've been for the before, that is. If you use my service, I'll give you a VIP pass that'll let you travel for free. Yes. Okay, so that's cool. Come back if you change your mind. Okay, so we can. Girl, I'm so angry. I jumped up down those ledges over thinking there'd be a way back up, but no. Apparently, the only way for him to get. I could just, I should go and calm down, stay mad about this, and isn't going to help me out of the situation. Here, take this and put it to good use. Oh, damn, sweet. Okay, yes, guess I should start making the long track back to Naren Town. Who knows, maybe the journey will make my team and I stronger. See you around, kid. I don't know why they needed the fade to black there. He went off screen. How do you get a Pikachu on the bus? You Pokemon, get it? I just realized something. I could have had a Raichu already, but I could have got an early Raichu, but I don't plan on keeping Pikachu. Remember back when we were talking about how amazing the first Augur was, and now it's all about how weak he was and how the great how great the second Augur is. Must be a coincidence. I mean, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Did I talk to you yet? Really difficult. Okay, practice races and must be a mini game. Well, sometimes you just have to lead to the last, but to get able must be able to climb rocks. Okay, sorry, that's the way I came back from. Let's see. Have I talked to people in here? I have not, because I don't remember seeing a hunter. I came from the faraway Johto region back in those days. We only just just discovered the Dark and Steel type. It's incredible how far could we come since then. Would you like to trade Pokemon? I'll trade you my Ghastly for, say, a Durant or a Heatmore. Wow, there's a lot of people who want to trade Pokemon. It's really hard to specialize in more than one type Pokemon because of that people like me choose to excel in. Bug, I'm assuming. Would you like to finish your sentence? Or did I miss something? It's really hard to specialize in more than one Pokemon type because of that people like me choose to choose one to excel in. Oh, never mind. I didn't read it right the first time. That's fine. English is hard. Did I talk to you? Oh, yeah. I, didn't, I haven't been in here. It's incredible all the clothes you can buy in the Torin region. I got this fancy barrette from uh, the Poke. Ooh. You know, if you're looking to make some pokey change, I heard someone at the broadcast tower in Sunset City is looking for trainers. That's also good to know. So, since we get... Got a little bit... I already healed, so I should be good yet. So since we're at, like, we got, like, five minutes till this episode's out, that's how I'm going to close this episode out. Let's go back and see what's on this route here. Then I might spend some quick time. Hopefully there's a bug-type Pokemon back here. Blitzo? That's already, like, three times better than... Freaking Pikachu. Oh, 
Uh, let's see. Speed this up a little. I might spend a little bit doing some off-screen training again, because it's... I thought I did enough before, but clearly... I was wrong. Ponyta? Ah, uh, come on, Thea. Ah, uh, we'll switch, just to be safe. Just make sure we get the experience. We'll go to Oliver for now. So far, the variety has not been too terrible on this route. We'll put Killian up front. I didn't spend any money on my Pokemon, bud, but... Whatever, you do you, kid. Um... Come on, there's gotta be... Bug type Pokemon in here somewhere. Wow, this mouth is just was just wrecking me there. Um, put Oliver up front for now. We're not gonna worry about getting Buddy any levels now because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stick with Jesus. This Ponyta is a freaking tank. Oh, well, I think we might just wrap it up a little bit early. I'm going to do some off screen training and I'm going to go find, go find myself another bug type Pokemon to trade to that guy for an L kid. Um, if you guys enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date to all the latest episodes. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. Most of all, thanks for watching.